So I just knit up this small swatch. I'm going to show you how to twist your cables both ways. Luther ends, and I'm going to show you how to do it so that you can. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trisha, if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. How are you guys doing? As you can see, Luther is right here. I don't, can you see? Gus is right there, getting comfy on his blanket. And I thought I'd just shoot a really, really quick video. I mentioned it earlier in the week. Sorry, end of last week. And I had finished this really awesome, heavily cabled poncho. So um, a few years back, a friend of mine named Diana pressured me into learning how to cable without a cable needle. I was resistant. I'm always resistant when someone's trying to like, hey, let me help you. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm just a pain. I'm just a pain. So she was like, just let me show you. And it took like two minutes to show. I'm going to be quick to show you as well. But um, it has made my cable knitting go so much faster. And people say to me all the time, like, I'm ready to learn cables or um, I really want to knit things with cables. It looks so complicated. And it does. That's the cool thing about cables is, oh my gosh, oh, that's the cool thing about cables. <laughs> That's what's cool about cables. You just have to learn uh, one or two techniques and the way that you combine them makes really intricate, cool designs. So, oh my gosh, seriously. So I knit up this little swatch. I'm gonna show you how to do a one by one cable and a two by two cable. Anything bigger is the same principle anyway and um, how to cross them both ways. I'll zoom in and show you really close. So I hope this helps somebody. Also, one last quick thing. It's gonna feel fiddly at first. It's gonna feel kind of hard to manage at first, but just keep practicing because once you keep practicing and you get the muscle memory down, it will make you so much faster. So here is my swatch. I've got a one by one cable first crossing towards the right, then crossing towards the left, and then a two by two crossing towards the right and a two by two crossing towards the left. So I'm gonna quickly, I'll speed this up, getting to that first cable so I can just show you really fast. Okay. So in order to cross a 1-1 one, one cable towards the right, you just poke your right hand needle into that second stitch. See that? And then you're going to pinch with your right hand and slide your left needle out of both stitches and then back into the one that's going towards the back. So see now I have them crossed. Then you drop that stitch back on and you knit it. And then you knit the back one. And that's it. You just did that. So much easier than getting a cable needle and fiddling around with that. Okay, so now we're gonna do it to the left. This time, you grab the second stitch in the back, just like this, and then you pinch this one in the front. And if you pinch the base, just like that, it won't move. But I do recommend when you're starting out, try and use a yarn that's like a little more grippy and less likely to pull through. So those are just the one by one cables. And if you're looking for someone who has some patterns that have a lot of one by one cables, there is an awesome, awesome sock designer. Her name is Michelle Leanne Martin and she has a bunch of them. She hasn't designed anything new lately that I know of, but there are a bunch. So this is the two by two going towards the right. So you do the same thing. You reach over the ones that are going in the back, which is these two, pick up those two stitches. See, I've got them both on the needle. And this time you try to pinch both. And then sometimes that happens where it twists just a little. You pick them up in the back and you bring those front ones 
to the front just like that see that and then knit all four so you're really just rearranging them without using that needle that cable needle we laugh about it because I used to joke I mean I lost probably more cable needles than I own regular needles because I, I just would drop them and lose them and it was crazy okay so this time this is the two by two that goes towards the left so again you're gonna reach to the back this time okay and you see I'm gonna push this needle in between two and two and see how I've got them picked up back there and then I grab them these two in the front and just pick them right back up and like to try to make that movement as small as possible because the less you pull and the less you um, kind of get them out of shape the less likely you are to pull on one of those loops that you're pinching so then you just knit all four Uh, I'm just gonna purl a couple here so I can show you okay so you have accomplished four cables in just very very little time I will say for me a three by three cable is usually the most I like to do this way anything bigger than a three by three I will grab a cable needle for but you don't really run across that as often so Anyway, I hope you try it. This is Cascade Superwash um, Merino 220 and it really shows cables nicely. You can see how beautiful that stitch definition is. I buy mine at my local yarn store. I'll actually link below where I buy it from. So isn't it beautiful? Hi, welcome to Fiber. So I knit this little 